Welcome back to our layout series where we are taking our plan set nine project and creating all of the construction documents for it. In our previous episodes, we created the cover page, which right now looks like this. And we also created that elevation page, which looks like this. And so in the, today's episode, we're going to put in some text um, saying what all the elevations are and putting some text in for the cover page to highlight what this is. So if we go to our inside page over here under our pages, if we click on this icon up here, which is your text, Again, if you don't have that, you can go up to view toolbars and check that main toolbar. Whenever you select your text, there's two different ways to go about doing or creating text. If we just click once, it will put the cursor down and we can type. So here, let's go and do front elevation. If we go over here to text styles, I can increase that. Right now mine's at nine. I'm gonna increase it to, let's say 18. So let's select that. Let's put it up to 24. And then let's move this over to our front elevation which is the first one with it selected you can move it with your mouse make sure that it that it has that move icon whenever you're hovering over it you can also fine tune the movement by using the arrow keys on your keyboard here i'm going to do control c i'm going to go up to paste on current layer and I'm going to move this one over to the right. We'll double click this one and this one is our right elevation. So let's go ahead and do control C on that one or you can go to edit copy I'm going to paste that one, bring this down. And fine tune it, put it into the correct space. So this one is our left elevation. And let's create our last one. And this is our rear elevation. If we select our text over here under the text styles, we can change not only the size, but we can also change the typeface and we can change the actual family that the text is. So if I come up here to the C's, I can change it. If it selected, I can change this to Cambria if I wanted to. I could make it bold. And so let's make those adjustments with the rest of them. If we go, I want to toggle that. If we go to the front page, the other way to create text is by drawing in the actual text box. So I'm going to go up here to the top left and I'm going to drag a text box to around that point. 
here let's i'm going to type in i'm going to cap put my caps lock on do plan set number nine Let's go ahead and highlight that, bring up over our text, and I'm going to enlarge that, and let's change this over here to our Cambria. So at this point, let's go ahead and create our third page. If we just wanted to create a blank page, we could click on the little plus sign. I wanna go ahead and copy this page. So I'm going to, with my inside page selected, I'm going to click on this middle icon. And that's going to duplicate that inside page. So I'm going to double click on the inside page let's do I want to type in elevation page and for this one it's going to be the floor plan so double click on it and type in our floor plan I want to get rid of all but one of these. So come in here and delete all but one. I'm going to move that one down and let's resize this one, making sure that we hold down shift in order to keep it proportional. With our SketchUp selected, go over to our SketchUp model, and we should have our floor plan view. Now, I, we do need to change up the background once again so if we bring up our SketchUp file if we go over to our floor plan we want to again go over here to your styles click on construction document style let's go ahead and turn off the section cut and I'm going to hit the update scenes. Again, you need to make sure you update the scenes or else what you did won't matter. At that point, let's go ahead and go to file, save, go back over to our layout and with your SketchUp model selected, go over to your SketchUp model tray and click on this icon here, which will update your project. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. And use my arrow tools in order to fine tune where to try to center it up. Let's double click on this right elevation and type in floor plan. Let's kind of move it right there. Let's go ahead and save our project. Go to File, Save. And that will finish up this episode. Thank you for, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes in our layout project.